we have an exciting video for uh, me, <laughs> hopefully you guys, and uh, hopefully for me. Today I get to ride a 1998 Suzuki TL1000. Obviously, there's not a lot of Suzukis on our channel here, but I don't discriminate. I like all bikes and I'll get on anything that is safe. And I do trust that this is safe because uh, my cousin's actually a mechanic and uh, I know he trusts his stuff. I'm gonna make sure everything's solid here and I don't lose anything on the ride. He has this bike up for sale, so if you're interested, um, I could put you in touch with him and uh, send you the ad on Facebook or whatnot. Bike's currently located in Pennsylvania. And let's see, mileage. Look at the mileage here. Trip mileage. Going through its checks. Uh, 20, I gotta go on the other side. Let's see, oh, turn signal's on. So right turn signal works. There's the low beam. Let's check the rear while we're at it. Yep, right turn signal works, good. Cancel. Okay, left, left works. All right, just so we know, horn does not seem to work. That should be working right now. Uh, looks like 25, I need a flashlight. 25,000 miles. Uh, I will try and take screenshots of his ad and uh, maybe we can connect him with the buyer. So it looks like we have custom parts here, custom tailpipe. Let's go around the bike and uh, look at what we can find out. We have a stabilizer here, some aftermarket gold things there. Front we have dual front brakes triple piston calipers what else do we need to look at here like i said it's a 98 tl 1000 r i can show you that different rear sets here i would not want to be a passenger and have to use these that looks very uncomfortable aftermarket turn signals all around um yeah, we'll just cover that license plate while we're at it. Chain drive, of course, this is a sport bike. Here you can see Suzuki Motor Company. The year says 598, the manufacturer date, and the TL1000R. So this should be a fun bike. Looks pretty solid. And uh, I think we'll have some fun on this. So this is just first impressions that this is a big bike. Definitely a large motorcycle. We should have, did not look, we should have a disc brake on the rear. Yes, we do. You guys saw that when I was over there. Um, yeah, I think we're great. Everything looks pretty decent, no horn. I think you said the gas gauge does not work also. So that's a thing. Look at this frame, that is beefy there. And that's a lot bigger than the steering stems I typically get into working it's on. a 1000 and uh we're gonna go take it out in the next video but i figured let's do a walk around on it your ram air is down there on both sides this did this did get a paint job it uh looks shiny and it's pretty nice so sharp looking bike a little dent here no big deal little dent there a little dent here stuff like this happens on older motorcycles but if they ride nice, um, they could be really fun. So let's see. You said it does take a lot of choke to get started. So we turn the choke on here and then turn the key. We are in neutral. Let's see if the uh, clutch shut off works. I um, guess we have to hold the clutch in to start it. Oh, right here. I usually don't do this, but he does. Fuel pumps pumping. Now let's give her some juice. Okay, still not starting. All right, I guess we do have to pull the clutch in. So how can I do this on video? Ready? Oh, she dead? Oh, she dead, come on. Get my helmet. What's this? 
there. Get ridden enough. 